Okay, when we last left the heroes, um, they had uh, doubled back and rested and gotten some information from uh, the mushroom folk um, and uh, Red Stim and Mer uh, uh, what was it? Red Stim and uh, Morel. Morel. Um, and they had gotten some info about this devourer. And I believe the the, the next thing was basically we're going to go, we got to find this thing pretty quick because it now knows that we're probably coming. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. All right, then we will jump right in. And go to here. So what is the plan? I think quickly and quietly back to the elevator is, is the way to go. Um, yeah. The two concerns I have are one that left Jerry and fake Johan, if there ever was a real Johan, uh, appear behind us. Uh, number two, I don't know what time it is during the day, but uh, always worried about gigantic weasels. Is it is yeah. about 12.30 in the afternoon because the ritual did take a while. Okay. So, um, so I, I mean, back down the elevator is really the only thing, right? Okay. Yeah. Give me one second. Our, I think, our working supposition here, Ryan, is that the the big bad is going to be in the giant treasure room. Okay. Um, Eric brought up the good point uh, that. Um, there were all those blood stains and stuff there, so we're thinking maybe that's where the sacrifice and ritual consumption and stuff goes on. Yeah. Um. So that that yeah, seems to be our, our working. Axes. Yeah. So our working theory. The I assume you're wanting to go um, here. Yeah. So this if is. There's nothing in our way, right, guys? Yeah, this this is like the giant room with the big treasure pile in the middle of it, and yeah. all the Gromlins were in there, like doing stuff and the dead bodies, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Before we before we get there, like when we get to maybe right here, uh, can can I uh pop some spells? Sure, if you want to. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use um. My, uh, I'm gonna use uh, protection from evil mm -hmm. and detect evil. Okay, I think detect evil's instant. Um, give me one second, I'll take a look. That's an hour integration and a 120 foot range. Let me see. Yeah, so protection from evil. Oh, wait, yeah, detect evil is instant. I believe so. Let me take a oh, look. Oh, well. I'm Evil Cleric. Oh no, it lasts an hour. Okay. So you're gonna when these things, both of them. When they glow, is it just so that Horus can see them, or we can all see everything? I think it's just so the the caster. Yeah, can it's see only it. I can see them. That is preferable. <laughs> yeah. So that's how I'm gonna rule it. Is you see the aura of said creature? Mm-hmm. And then, like, as we move up after I cast them, uh, what do I see, Ryan? <laughs> um, so you do your spells here. Um, in essence, you probably have to move up to about here to, to start kind of trying to see things. Remember, your light only goes 60 feet. This place does have some bioluminescence, so you can probably see dim shadows, you know, at up to 120 is what I would say. Probably 60 feet of reasonable light. Um, so, but... if, even if I can't, so what you're saying is if I can't see the creature, it doesn't glow with evil intent? Yes. In essence, oh, yes. That sucks. You do have to see your intended target. 
There's uh, not um, lanterns or anything for the other denizens down here to see. No, I'm all monsters. All monsters can yeah, see in the dark. All, they're, they all got dark vision. Even clones uh, of dwarves. Clones of, well, dwarves have night vision. Yeah. Well, infravision. Infravision, right. yeah. Everything has information. There's no such thing as dark vision. So. Right. So I'm just saying that you. I let it go. <laughs> um, but there is bio. So yeah, we're, we're big, big walking targets. Look at this bright guy over here. That's kind of the thing in old D and D. Yeah, like that's that's part of it. So you get to here. You do see the gromlins that are up on this dais. Um, they are definitely glowing. Um, uh huh. And you see the big pile of treasure. That is there. How about the ceiling? The ceiling is not glowing. Can I see anything on the ceiling? You do not see anything on the ceiling. Okay. Can we observe the gremlins for a couple minutes? I'm wondering if they're like prostrating and worshipping at this gold pile thing. The big bad is inside of it. Maple yeah, Park, uh, the wrong tree. Arnie, hand me your spyglass for a sec. Uh, okay. Uh, there you go. I'm gonna see if I can like get a better look with the spyglass and my uh, detect evil. Um, I'm talking detect evil. Still only has a range of 120 feet, which is what you're. I know. Seeing it's without just this. like uh, it's just like so. I have a better view of it. The um. All right, let's do this. Um, give me um an intelligence uh, check, please. God. Okay. Can't win them all, man. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everyone to a separate map. It's the same area. It's just blown up. Oh, no. Much like we will be shortly, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. All right. This is a big one. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's that's a big one. Oh. Some, some mega splats. Nice. Those are some large blood splats. So I'm just kind of giving y'all a general of kind of what you see at the moment. Each of those figurines, that's one gromlin, right? One or two gromlins. But they count oh, as one enemy. Gromlins. So you have like one enemy. There oh, might be two nice. gromlins, but I count them as one thing. There's a lot of gromlins there, but the, you have you have 12 targets, is what I would say. Okay. So I've, I have had a thought now that I see this delicious pile of treasure. Uh-huh. If I am the devourer, and I lust gold and seek to consume all, what's going to piss me off more than a bunch of adventurers running up into my house and taking my stuff? <laughs> we still have that chest, right, guys? I don't know. Did you lug that, it down here? It's. It I, th weighs, I think we probably would have left it up there. It weighs <laughs> 500 it. Okay. pounds. It looks like there's a bunch of chests down here. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking so that we don't have to go over there into the middle of the Gromlins. Like, we could just wave around some money and be like, hey, we stole your shit. <laughs> Uh, so, this is gonna this this could be a terrible idea. I I have many of those, as you know. Um, we could try to fake it up there. I can cast sleep on the gromlins if I don't fit. They're very tiny. I could probably get a bunch of them. Um, and then like act like we're just running up there to start piling loot in our sacks. But in reality, keeping an eye out, waiting for the thing to get mad, and then we blast him. Secretly, the sack had a crossbow the whole time. Something like that. 
So, so you're saying this is the perfect time for me to drink the potion? To turn invisible? Could be. Could be. Yeah. I think that this is a perfect time for you to drink the potion, get closer. Like, what's what's a medium range for a normal crossbow, Ryan? He's in. He's probably close to short range right now. The crossbow he. Yeah, the crossbow he has treats medium range as short range, so I'm pretty sure he's... The entire map. Yeah. Oh, okay. So... So, technically from there, you'd be able to get the shot. Uh... Okay, uh, I think we're gonna have we to keep the that, hornet's nest. Before we do that, we should take a step back and I should bless us. Right? Yes. Yeah. Before we do that, we should take a few steps back, like, away from the lip, away from where they can see us, and bless the party. The whole party. Okay. Wee, 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 wee. And nothing but the party. And the party all feels really good about themselves. Okay. I've done everything I can. It's up to you guys now. So, uh, drink the potion now? Yep. Okay, so I drank the potion. And... Okay. Alright, we're gonna roll up there and kick the hornet's nest. I should, Shouldn't uh, Tasso stay back there just so that he can aim? Well, he's uh, not like, gonna aim at yet. Well, yeah, but he can just uh, calm himself, slow his breathing, and just aim, can he, Ryan? You have to have a target that you're aiming at. Uh, you can't just like okay. you can't. This this isn't uh, like a you know Dragon Ball Z man. <laughs> right, <laughs> like you can't summon Spirit Bomb. Um, <laughs> okay. So everyone, put your peoples right around in here, right at the bottom of these stairs, ish, and how you guys want to approach this. Oh, this this ain't gonna be That's good. It never is, man. Oh, I got. Uh, I can do the dwarf statues if you guys want me to. Please do. So the the statues will follow your basic commands. Like you just give them like a command, like kill or go over there. Um, they don't do complex commands. They have, like, skeleton-like intelligence. So they'll do basic things, but, like, go over there and kick that one dude in the red in the shin and then call his mom a name. Like, that's a little too complex for them. Um, that's fair. And then we have several dwarves as well that are here. Are you staying back with the crossbow? Also? Yeah, you should be staying back with the crossbow. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm just the only one up here. <laughs> um, Brith is a was, brave I didn't, I didn't want to get... Uh... You guys can stand side by side. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Well, oh, I was not... also thinking we don't want to be flanked for behind. Oh yeah, because we are fairly certain there's a de loop up here. Uh, let's throw that out there. Yeah. Okay. So you can put those two statues on like guard. Yeah, yeah. guard duty. We can always call up reinforcements. Should should. It's... Okay. Well. All right. Uh. So, yeah. So what's the plan? Uh. Vance, you sleep them, we rush up and try to grab some gold? Or, quote-unquote, try to grab some gold? Well, do grab the gold, though. <laughs> if you're gonna fake it, you might as- it's, it's method acting. Wait, so I should- let me drink the potion first. Yep. So I drink the potion. Okay. You does- does, uh- Slowly become does translucent. Get, does he get, uh- does he get, um, what is it? Uh... What's the thing that, uh... Uh, stealth usually gets you when you attack? I think uh, there's a bonus of any kind. 
what is it? Surprise means that your opponent can't, like, attack back, but they have to be, like, totally surprised. Like, if, you know, you guys are moving in there and, like, they're like, enemies are here, they're, they're not surprised. If you're, if you have backstab, like Arnie does, then that's a little different story. That's a technique that he has. Oh. All right. So, what are we doing, guys? I'm saying I drop a uh, drop a sleep on him. If I, as long as I don't whiff the roll, it should knock out at least a few. Uh, and then we run up and, and start blasting. Where are you sleeping? Island of treasure. Um, I guess this group closest to us, right? It's a. Uh... Oh, Lars, can you do it? So it's two D eight hit dice right. creatures, um, and. It is a radius of some description. Sleep. It doesn't have a uh, radius. It's just got, radius. It's just that many targets. Yeah. So, um, yeah, two d eight hit dice of creatures, or hit dice or less eat. So yeah, it'll get the weakest ones first, which is the gromlins. So. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. I'm thinking later editions. Yep. Bad. I should know my own spells by now. It's only a year. <laughs> um, this, I think that's it. So drop the sleep, fingers crossed, uh, and then advance into treasure stealing mode. Also keeping an eye like over here for whatever is around the corner that we can't see yet. As well as possible tentacles from over so I had asked before we came down here, though, we wanted to take a second to observe the Gromlins and, like, what they're doing. Uh, for the most part, they're just, like, standing around, kind of occasionally some, like, worship. If, like, some of the gold goes rolling, they'll, like, push it back into the pile. Um, so they just kind of, they're, like, chilling. I, I feel, I don't feel good about this plan, but I feel like it is a plan and we have it. Yeah. So this is up on a platform, right? Yes, like it, it's up on a uh, ledge. So getting up on that how is high not, a ledge? Um, it, it's about ten feet, seven to ten feet at different parts, uh, and it's pretty steep. So getting up it is not easy. Well, grappling hooks at the ready. Yeah, grappling hook. It counts as difficult terrain, and. Like, if someone's trying to interfere with you getting up there, like, you'll have to make saving throws or you'll slide back down. Uh. I think we're ready. Last thoughts, guys? Don't Been on us serving okay. with you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is the last episode of Black Adder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we go one three time. Oh, so as soon as you do that, everyone takes 279 points of damage. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, oh. uh, I'm gonna roll a save versus Flavor Town. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> it, it tastes so fiery. Um, I assume you want the ones closest to you to go to sleep first? Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, You've been sitting on that joke for quite a while, haven't you, Ryan? Oh, no. I just thought of it, like, right as I was... <laughs> y'all are so concerned, so... We can kind of foreshadow and hype it up a little bit, so. We also might be barking up the entirely wrong tree here, guys, so. Fingers those, crossed that we're not. <laughs> those four. Do, 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 drop. That's not a lot. Okay. And right as they do, I guess we, uh, we rush. We rush up, yeah? Yeah, this is a surprise round for y'all, so yep. you can okay. go ahead. And... So I think that uh, 
dwarves and ranged people move forward and shoot. Okay. Uh, try to take out the remaining gremlins with the various crossbows and cross launchers and things. So, what are you telling the statues to do? Uh, if I give them a grappling hook, could they grappling hook it or no? No, that's a little too complex for them. Just like, okay. like I said, pretty basic commands here. Just like, you know, do you want them to go up the hill? Do you want them to go get gold? Do you want them to kill things? Like, what do you want them to do? Arnie, can you grappling hook it for us if you're able? While we fire at it and keep like them said, distracted? It's ten feet. You really don't need a grappling hook. You guys are, you know, military-ish. Oh, okay. It's not like ten flat feet. It, it's slanted. It's just hard to get up. So right. it, it, it's just, uh, you know, it just takes a little more effort and time. It's not um, an impossible thing to get up. So how much time does it take? It's, it's, like how many it's difficult terrain, so it costs double your movement. Uh, so... You would have to spend, like, an entire round to get from there up to the top, basically. Maybe a little more. If you're in plate now. Because they can run, and they will they will take off if you want them to take off. Um... Yeah, how, how far is their move speed? Uh, they six. moved six. They could theoretically go twelve if they ran. Okay. That's all good. So we got to smash and grab him. It's it's run up to the top, uh, and then. Yeah. Uh, they could they could get to about here. The uh, statues. Mm -hmm. uh... All right, you guys don't have all data that like they dropped, yeah, yeah. so uh, I, I need okay. answers on what's going on. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna rush up to here. Okay. Uh, the uh, the statues are gonna move up to. Um... What are you telling them to do? Uh. Attack the gromlins on the mount. Uh. Attack yeah, the yeah. awake gromlins. Yeah. On the attack mount. the awake gromlins. Okay. So they'll move <laughs> to here. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Into here. That's about the extent of their movement. Uh, uh what about these Thanks. dwarves? Are they doing dwarves anything? Dwarves ought to advance four, right, is their movement, so they can get to the bottom of the hill with you and, and really shoot up if they can get an angle. Not sure if they can or not. Also, uh, uh, I think Tasso's gone right now, so someone else needs control breath. I'm back. Oh, all right. Brith can move pretty quickly too. Um, he can move twelve as well if he runs. Wait, Wait isn't he it, in full plate? full plate? Yeah, but it's mithril plate. It's mithril plate. Oh, yeah. So it's a little lighter. What? what? Which one is all awake and which one is sleeping? The, the ones, ones that, that are little, sleeping are the yeah. The ones that have the clocks on it are sleeping. Oh, okay. So... Uh, well, I I shot my magic thing, so I don't think I have them this round. But I would say if Arnie and Brith want to advance, uh, Oak and Shield may want to as well. Yes, Arnie Just wants so to. Just so that you. Move up. Move up. There, the okay. Arnie can go to there. Yeah, that's eight. And is that everybody? Oh, hold on. Uh, now that now that we're over here, do I see anything different with an evil aura? No. Okay. Just these gromlins. 
How, uh, how long does the potion of invis invisibility last? Uh, An hour or more. It, it, minimal 70 minutes. Um, it could go longer, but I if, if that becomes an issue, we'll have the dice roll for it, but somehow I think you might shoot something or interact with something before <laughs> the hour 10 mark. But, right. All right. Um, all right, so that's y'all's turn. That was your surprise round. Um, we'll go ahead and roll initiative. Oak and Shield, roll initiative, and I will roll initiative for them. Hey, it's about to see. Okay, so y'all have initiative. Okay. So y'all think about what you're going to do. I'm going to enact these... Uh, Ancient rituals. The robots. Um, I think I'm going to do that with them to maximize damage because you told them to kill the ones that are alive. Yeah, awake, yeah. So they will go ahead and start punching up some gromlins. Nice. Oh. Alright, so dead gromlin dead gromlin dead gromlin Oh my god As they basically just walk, uh, smudge over them and just start and stepping on them and like pounding them as they go Oh, oh dear god Uh Hey uh Tasso, uh, think you could move Brith because I'm trying to move there. Uh, yeah. Where, where do you want to move him? And I don't know anywhere. I up a gromlin. Yeah. Uh, well, I I'd say I I'd say three. be wary of the pile. Yeah, we don't want to like leave anybody out in the wind with no backup. So like yeah. we just need to start getting up that hill. Yeah. Um. So I can move eight, right, Ryan? And and getting up this hill would take four. Uh, j just about, yeah. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your breath is going up to that one and attacking him. Okay. That definitely kills a gromlin. I can dwarves also mount the hill, right? And that leaves room for Army, Arnie to get up. Can't he just levitate up? Also, that's also true. Yeah. I yeah, he can move. Um move here. Can I move there and then attack the ones that are sleeping? You can attack one of them. Peter Grom. <laughs> I don't think that's a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, um, just wipe out the sleeping ones. Yeah. Peaceful death, you know, peaceful. Yeah. No pain. Uh, Vance would like to command the four statues to protect him as he advances forward. That sounds like a it plan. Was, it was more of a euthanization than a. Actual command them to do what, uh, Belly? Protect Vance. Oh, the ones back there. I assume um, you want them yeah. as a rear guard, right? Yeah. I got I got plenty of front guard. Okay. <laughs> Although this big, mysterious black box over here, I'm not feeling too excited. We'll see. We'll see. Get the old knife fighting skills out. Yeah, as long as you throw them. <laughs> yeah, as long as you definitely aren't using your little ray beam. All right. Is that everybody? Uh -oh. So I, I move 
within my normal uh, range. I don't know if I can like use my, an action to just be like super observant, keeping an eye out, um, reaching out as best I can with whatever wizard senses I have. Uh, I'm moving right there and looking down. There's a tunnel over here, right? Correct. Can I so, see down or no? You can or see kind of like that. Oh, it's down. Okay, it's still further down. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's way up there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Then. Now, uh. Oh, yeah, Ryan, uh, I forgot to, uh, ask, but, uh, our party, mm -hmm. we didn't have, uh, evil on us, did we? Like, uh, Doppel Johan and Jerry? What do you mean? You... Like, we didn't have that lingering, hovering evil around us? Oh, None so you, us? Check it, you check out everyone in your party, you're like, who's evil in the party? Yeah, see if anyone is. No one appears to be evil in the party. Okay. Your own hands are glowing, though, for some reason, of course. It's, you really can't figure it out. <laughs> Alright, so now it's Gromlin turn. And other. Other. Oh, dun, dun, other. Dun. other. Other. Oh, God. <laughs> well, this guy's about to die. <laughs> so, these four Gromlins come. Um... They are going to throw darts, and for simplicity's sake, I'm going to say they throw them all at this front uh, statue. So four, it statue. four Gromlin darts at the statue. Gromlin darts! pick a chow oh, oh, Two hit! Sorry, statue oh. buddies. Two hits with... Oh, no. It takes, uh, what is it? Four points of damage. Call it statue for simplicity's sake. As little, like, Gromlin darts basically just like tuk, 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 and start chipping away at it. Then. Never mind. Where is my. So the the pile of of gold starts to shift ever so slightly and you see it. like a long tendril with an eyeball attached to it kind of like pop out and then um you know the like the have you guys ever seen tremors tremors uh yes. with the spiders no 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 tremors, with like, the underground worms yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. The things, with the, the tentacles that kind of come out of their mouth, three of those basically, like, start going out of the pile and towards the party and, like, grabbing, snapping at people. One of them actually has a sword in its mouth and it's attacking. And then three tentacles themselves come flying out as well. And, like, yes. the pile kind of shifts a little and you... Um, it glows very, 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 very brightly. Horus. Like blinding? Pretty much. Oh, look at that guy. Hey, little buddy. All right. Hmm. That seems very flare of you. So it is going to attack. Um, I've got its stuff here. So it's going to do it. It's got six attacks, so it's going to do... Um, oh. Oh, God. Hey, Ryan, why didn't I see that evil? Because it was under the pile of treasure. It was obscured. Do I see it now? Yes, that's why I said, like, blinding evil, <laughs> like, as the thing comes up, you definitely oh, see it I there. Thought, I thought you were talking about, like, everyone was blinded by it. Alright. So, 
um, its appendages stretch out pretty darn far. So it's going to slap Tasso. It's oh, first off, um, give uh, make Brith. He needs to do a saving throw versus spell. I think I can see an invisible guy's Tasso. <laughs> oh, I forgot Tasso's oh. invisible. Never mind. He can't, he doesn't attack Tasso. Yeah, I forgot Tasso nice. was invisible. That's my fault. Nice. But so, Brit, Brit does still need to make a saving throw for his spell. Oh no, Brit! He's pretty, hey, hey. pretty if, solid. If you, have, if you have an invisible, I'd like to use it. All right. So, um, Brit feels momentarily like um, his limbs start to like go paralytic, um, but he's oh, able to God. fight it off. Okay, we need we need to take this thing down. So, so I'm assuming this is a big bag. Yeah, this is the big. This is the thing <laughs> we saved it for, Tasso. When I see Do a it. thirty foot by thirty foot mass of tentacles waving evil uh, swords in a treasure pile, <laughs> Ryan, please, 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 God, tell me, the treasure pile doesn't give it cover. It's gonna. Yes, it does. Um, God. It, okay. So. It's going to slap one on Brith and two on each statue. Um, wow, so it's going to, statue buddies. to do that. Did so I say one on Brith? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, one it's, on Brith. It's going to slap uh, Brith and one statue. So uh, here we go. Slap number one. On Brith. Oh! oh. oh That's a 19. So it hits... Brith gets that, wrapped oh. up by the tentacle and is now being swung around in the air. That, oh, God. That takes two damage, right? He takes two damage. One less attack. The second yeah, slap's going to hit to, the uh... statue. Oh! Oh, Sorry. no! The no, statue's no, no. going to take uh, four points or five points of damage. From the slap, and then it is also being held up in the air. The other statue is going to, it has a glowing sword that has light around it, and it's attacking him with the glowing sword. Uh, do I only see the light, or does everyone see the light? Everyone sees the light. It's, it's a big glowing okay. sword. Uh, uh, the statue takes 10 points of damage. That's unfortunate. Oh. Um, hey, guys, you have bladed weapons, right? You can cut through tentacles. Arnie, oh. you're getting an attack. Horus, it's going to go in to attack you. And it's going to attack the dwarf next to you. Uh, these are all tentacles that have mouths on them, and they're trying to bite all of you. Oh. Face. Arnie. It hits you for nine points of damage. Ah, uh, no. This is on the dwarf. Not, uh, this is, the next one's on the dwarf. Eleven... Oh. That's... That's still going to hit him. Yep. Yeah, uh, why does this thing have such good rolls? Uh, because it's a big bad. It's a big bad. Well, let's look at the back go. Yeah, it's it, pretty good. Uh, it's back goes yeah. pretty, pretty boss. And then... Yeah, Hor uh, I don't Hor like that. <laughs> Horus, it's going to try to attack you. It's going to roll a saving throw because you have protection from evil up. Um, and it is an enchanted creature. Let me make oh, sure. Oh, that's beautiful. I... Hold on. Evil. I don't think it does. It do a saving throw, or does it just not attack me? Oh no, it just can't attack you. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so it goes to, like, snap at you, and, like, you have this aura, and, like, it hits the aura, and, like, it hisses back at you. And that's its round. That's, or that's the round for, for it. Okay. So now we go to initiative. Uh, I think it's, I think it's up to so, Boris, maybe. Yep. Uh, Ryan, as long as I don't attack it, it can't hurt me, right? Theoretically. Hey, guys, guys, uh, you ready for a ballsy play? I, I mean, I'll entertain any ideas at this point. What do you got? Uh, I go up and I just swipe gold and jewels off of it so that Tasso can take a clean shot without it being in cover. Uh, how covered in jewels and stuff is this, right? It's pretty Maybe. sunk in there. I'm talking realistically, I'm giving you the body shot, but you should just imagine that the tentacles and the eye stalks and everything are, are out of it. Everything else is pretty much covered by treasure. Uh, I mean, what? you could give what, it a shot, man, yeah. yeah. What does cover do to a... Uh... It gives it more AC. How much more? That you don't know. Uh, you get up there and start shoveling, you may piss it off enough, like, ears up. And then Tasso can take his shot. Huh? Huh? I'm real mad. Yeah, you know what? As if he wasn't you know what? enough already. I'm just, uh... We can go first, right? Yep. It's y'all's turn. Uh, so... I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell the, uh... All right, I'm sorry. Oh. Um. Oh. I cheated. I'll I'll save it for next round. Oh. Oh. Uh, I didn't care spell I... casting. Oh. oh. That's fine. Yeah. Go ahead. I'll let you. That's fine. I didn't even ask, so that was my fault. Um. Can I tell the uh, this guy to uh, use his stone axes that you so willingly gave to try to leave through the uh, tentacles and they're holding one of these up specifically breath yeah you can it, it will move yeah, up just... and it can try to do that yeah it will move to there yeah. and it can try to attack the tentacles okay and, so uh, that's what it's doing and uh, I'm just gonna one two uh, can I get around like to it Ryan with four move spaces? Yeah, you can get up to it. You can move right. one. You can go over the Gromlins. They're asleep and they're right. tiny. You could move to there. Alright. Uh. Yeah, can I just, like, take out a bag and just start shoveling gold in to get it pissed off? Sure. Yeah. And you said to climb, climb up the hill, it's half, it's full. It's four double trails, movement. Right? Yeah, it's about four movement. Okay. All right, so that's I him. Guess the question is, like, is if Tasso's not going to be able to, like, point blank it and shoot it in the eye or something, if he walks right up on it, it would make a difference? Uh, point blank shot does give you bonuses. Is that, I don't actually know. Yeah, I'm talking, if you're right up on it, I'll give you a plus two to hit. Instead of a plus one. Yeah, for close range, I'm talking if you if you, and it doesn't see you, so that that's the big thing. So I wouldn't let it happen normally because normally if you're within melee range, you cannot use a a ranged weapon. But I would say since it cannot see you, it's basically just like putting a gun to the back of someone's head. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, could I do that plus do aiming? No, I'm talking... Well, yeah, I'm talking... You can sit there for a couple rounds just holding it ready to go, like, if you want to. There'll be but another then it'd have a chance to hit you. 
It, he's invisible. The thing is not... It does not know you're there. Oh, okay. Why don't we get some attacks in on this thing while Tasso's trying to figure it yeah. out. Yeah. And while I'm just shoveling gold into a bag to piss it off. Okay. Um, Arnie, what are you doing? I will move over here to try to flank if I can. Is that a steep slope? Uh, you're fine there. You, you're you're kind of in a precarious balance. Uh, but yeah, you're there. If I if if I start losing my balance, I'll use my boots. Okay, that's fine. I can see that. All right, so Arnie's moving there, and these three dwarves. Uh, do you want them to just move up and try to attack? Uh, we should we should have them kill the sleeping Gromlings first, shouldn't we? I okay. We ought to have them unleash crossbow bolts into this thing. I don't know, man. They can I mean, unleash I crossbow wouldn't... if you want to. Uh, let's, let's... fire. Gromlings. Yeah. I'm worried about. Yeah. Sorry about yeah. Sorry about that, Gromling, Ryan. Okay, so they will. Should... Fu they'll fire three shots at um, the big bad. Plus one. Let's let's see how. Oh, okay. We don't. Fifteen. No. Okay. The two fifteens will hit. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, okay, we hold have on, a hold chance. On. Hold on. Let me see. They might not. I forgot. Let's see. Let me see its AC again. Uh, there it is. But it's got... It's okay, it's they are first level. Third level. Oh, yeah, they are third that level. Doesn't, that doesn't affect their factor. No, it doesn't. But they're plus one to hit because of range. Um, plus one bless. Plus one bless. The bless took it over. Nice. All right, so it takes 2d6 damage. Okay. It takes seven points of damage. Okay. Decent. That's the, the average for 2d6. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's... Um... Okay. Ouch. So that's them. Fire, fire, fire. Okay. Nobody come close. So, so Brith will take on his turn. He takes uh, four points of damage. Well, as the oh, thing is yeah. squeezing him. Yeah. And, um, can Brith attack? No. He's being swung around in the air like wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Um, and he and the other statue will take four points of damage as well. And that crushes the statue. So basically it's it's like gripping the statue and then the statue just like crumbles like and explodes as it like uh, pops dear. basically in its hand. Like one of the well, goodbye the statue one. Hello statue two. <laughs> so that's on their that's turn. I want to order the, these other statues to move up at this rate and, and attack the thing. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we've already lost one of our vanguard units. Alright, so the statue's going to attack the tentacle um, twice. And it does not hit either time, so the tentacle's like whipping around, and it's trying to grab it, basically, and it's like sinking an axe into it, but no, it doesn't happen. Uh... So Arnie just moved his four spaces. Could he do another action? Could he like he throw can some gold down on the? Could he throw gold down on the pile? If you want to throw gold Why? on the pile, sure. Bam, bam. Maybe Why? Because I'm a devotee. Yeah, I'll throw down some gold. Oh my god. Okay, you start chucking. How much gold are you gonna throw in? Two pieces. That's all I have. Okay. <laughs> It's the widow's might. All right, so, so already dumps two pieces of gold into the pile. So what I'm going to do is do a full sprint up the cliff. Okay. But that's four. 
Okay. And five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's fine. I can see that. Okay. So you are there. Um, I think get that... the statue guys down here to move up. Attack the thing! Yeah. Pence will be alright. From here, they can basically move back up to here. Get in there! Hey, Vance, you've got magic, right? Fix yeah. them up. I can do one of this one around. So what do you got, Vance? Got a little of the old magic missile. Pew, pew. Okay. Nice. It's something. How do we do? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Eat it. Six Eat it. Damage. It's not. That's not a lot, guys. We gotta do better than. I know, but it's better than nothing. Listen, I'm at the moment. I'm untouchable, and I'm making the most of it by trying to get it to come out. If it doesn't, though. I want to switch to punching it mode. Because <laughs> we're yeah, going to start it, dealing some it, damage here. If it doesn't, it's getting the full brunt of Emberhand's rage. Alright. Um, I think that's all of y'all's turn. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so their turn. So... It doesn't have Oops. exactly 50 feet of tentacles. We'll see. Since you're trying to be a devotee, Arnie, if you, if these Groblins move past you, are you going to attack them? Not if they attack, don't attack me. They're not going to attack you. They're going to go over here. <laughs> oh, great. I forgot about them. So, somewhere between four to eight Groblins basically jump you. So they're going to try to overbear you, is what they're going to try to do. They... They're, so. not, they're not enchanted, are they? No. No? Oh, no. God, that's no. great. Okay. He doesn't use enchantment to, to get his, his thing. They're clones. They're exact Doesn't copies. that mean, like, constructed? No, they're exact copies of exactly what they are. Oh, God, that's terrible. Okay. So the Gromlins are going to try to overbear you. So go ahead and roll a strength check. Uh-huh. Okay. So they nice, win. Because nice. they've got a... Wait, what? Well, there's there's a whole bunch of them, so they get a plus four. Because there's four of them. Don't I have a plus to my saves? You don't. It's not a save. It's a strength roll. So it's whoever rolls higher without going over their strength. So they have an in each individual Gromlin has a strength. I guess the three is the it, not the five roll. Never mind. Yeah, take it, it back. it's their combined kind of like effort with an overbear. So they're just pushing you is all they're doing. They're shoving you back to here. Like, don't touch the gold kind of deal. That's uh huh. Real. So I still got some, didn't I, though, Ryan? You got a little bit, yeah. Okay. Roll, roll a d6, or roll a d100. There you go, that's how much. And we know how good you are at rolling d100, so. <laughs> you got 80, 80 gold into the bag. Is that thing getting pissed at me? Uh, sure. But. I don't think it's gonna cut. It, it knows it can't touch you, so. Uh. Um, all right, so it is going to take Brith and bash Brith into the statue that is it's trying to it that's trying to attack the tentacle. Oh, that's not good. Brith, hey pal, you doing okay there? So it hits the statue, and the statue takes three points of damage, and so does Brith as it bashes, oh, no. uses its its tentacle to wrap it. It's wrapped up and it's just beating the statue. Has this statue taken any damage before, guys? Yes, it's down to seven hit points. Oh. It's also going to 
uh, lash um, uh, a tentacle out. It's gonna send its sword out to to grab Arnie. Oh no! Thought you could I, buy its love, Arnie. I wanted to befriend you, but now you will feel the wrath. So that uh, well, yeah, yeah. It, you no, know, it doesn't hit a negative two with that. It, the, the the matrix is off. I I know what its thaco is. It's it's not that. Um, so, oh, always, okay. oh. what's your AC, Arnie? It is right now a four, I believe. No, three. With a shield and. Wait, no, I have chainmail. That is a five. Shield a and five. protection, so three. Oh, never mind, it does hit. Sorry. <laughs> you take three points of damage as the sword basically comes at you. Um. It's going to try to slap uh, the statue that's there. This one? Yep. Uh, that that will miss. miss. So. Yeah. It will try to slap the statue behind him. Oh, wait. They have yeah. a six, don't they? That's too many slaps. Sorry. Oh? Too many slaps. Oh. One of, well, one of its slap hands has got the sword. It's got two slap hands. One has Brith in it, so it's <laughs> doing that. Um, what is it? Two... It's going to send uh, three maw mouths at this statue right there. Oh, dear. We just got these allies, and now they're dying? Well, do other attack us? Oh instead? yeah, that's dead. That's dead. Oh wow, that twenty. That's that that thing is dead. Yep. So like three mouths like surge out and just grab it and like rip it to shreds and throw it away. And hey. Vance, you've you've got more magic, right? Throwing spells till uh, you guys are all dead, or it's dead. So I would prefer the second one. <laughs> <laughs> and... Coming yeah, there off, we go. Coming out of the oh, stairs. I knew that. Is an ogre. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, this this fight's not going to get easier the longer we take. Yeah, we need to. Can I get around these gromlings when it gets my turn? No, they're aggressive towards you. Okay. All right, um, ba -ba -ba. I think that's it. Uh, so that was their turn. Now it's initiative. Arnie, you have the initiative roll. Spells, oh, no. spells, spells. Oh, we have spells. Anyone casting? Uh, I mean, no. Okay. Vance? You got him. I got him. You got it. That's fine. Uh... But it looks like they're going first. Yeah, that that's not good. He's used to using the pole arm, guys. Okay. So Wait, ogre... that thing can get up easily. Ogres gigantic. Move... Yeah, like ogres move oh. pretty quick too. Like. They're not encumbered by armor. They're just big. And um, the Gromlins here, they take out little like uh, like needly swords, and they're they're gonna stab you. Oh, uh, great! Do I roll three d twenty? 
Yep. Alright. Rolls three twenties. Nice. No, I rolled one though. <laughs> you did, but they hit you once. So yeah. you you can make an attack. Yep. Slayer's mace. That won't hit well. Uh yeah, that'll hit a gromlin. Oh, that'll hit a gromlin? Yeah. They're not right. they're crappy. But one of them hits right. you. You take one point of Two. damage from its little oh, needle one. blade. <laughs> As they scream. Yeah! All right, and Mr. Maw. So, Maw Spawn will uh, attack again. Um, let's see. Arnie, you've got the sword coming at you again. And. It's Moss Swarm, not Moss Spawn. Yeah, Moss Swarm. Okay. Uh, Moss see, Spawn would imply a larger Moss somewhere that birthed this thing. An attack of three will not hit you. Yeah, I would hope. Nice. Barely, but it will not hit you. <laughs> Barely? Yeah, this thing's pretty, pretty good. Uh. And it is going to bash... Um, Brith into the thing again. Ah, uh, this isn't. This isn't okay. This isn't okay. And it misses. Brith. Oh. Brith still takes three points of damage as it misses the statue, but it hits the ground. Like, <laughs> with Brith in it. Like, God. And it's gonna slap that statue. This one? Oh, yep. So, uh, Bluth can't do nothing, really. No, he can. Until we free him, he can't do anything. Until he's free. Yeah. Okay. Which I'm thinking we have these three dwarves back here just free him. So, this one is now grabbed as well, and it takes two points of damage. Oh, that one. Yep. Okay. And now it's got three mouth attacks. Um, it's going to do the triple mouth attack again versus um, that one. Oh, God. Our allies are just falling. Um, it'll yeah, hit each time. It, there's, there's, It's nigh on impossible for it to live, but we'll see. Huh? Huh? No. 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 <laughs> All Another right. hero appears! Hey, Chris! You're definitely needed. Tell yeah, us. you are really needed! A beard descends from the heavens. <laughs> aren't going as badly as they will next round. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah. Nobody's dead yet. Uh, tell that to the statues. They're not people. How dare you? <laughs> okay. Hey guys, uh, I am... Welcome, huh? fair sir. We're in, the, hey. we're in the middle of it. We are fighting man. for our lives against the big bad. Wait. You can bring your Do dude that. in right next to Vance. We're back here having a cigarette wait, uh, waiting on them to finish this battle up so we can get out of here. <laughs> he was the rear guard. <laughs> but it looks like you need an up front guard, so a vanguard. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Vance, do you have any other magic that might help? Spells, mana. I'm gonna uh, keep churning them out. Alright, it is y'all's turn. 
So I can't get around these gremlins. I'm guessing, right? Uh, you now have a path, um, but you will take attacks of opportunity. Yeah. I'll only take one that. though, won't I? Yes. From a gremlin. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, I'm gonna move right up on it. Okay. The gremlin attacks. Yeah! And it stabs into your plate, and it doesn't do anything because it has a needle. Like, ah! <laughs> ah! I want to do my 1d2 damage, but I just can't. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I'm moving right behind it and doing aim action. Okay, so you're now aiming. And, uh, Ryan, can I lay into this thing? Yeah, you can attack it. But highly recommend. Highly also, recommended. Uh, uh, is there is there any way that these three guys back here would try to help uh, Brith out with his tentacle situation? Sure, if that's what you want him to do. I mean, I feel like they'd want to do that on their own already. <laughs> But yeah, they'll move up. <laughs> I don't want them to die. Is the thing. You know, the moment that you attack this thing, your protection from evil doesn't work anymore. I know, and okay. that's why I'm doing it so that these guys don't get screwed up. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna lay into it. I, do I get any threshold mod? I get, I get the plus one from uh, from bless, and the plus one from uh, from protection from evil, don't I? So you get a bonus to hit. Oh, just to defenses. Yeah, yeah saving throws. Pro yeah, protection from evil, not attaction from evil. <laughs> so threshold modifier, okay. Doesn't your mace give bonuses of some kind versus things bigger than you? Yes, yes. yes. I already have that tallied in. Okay. Debut. Give it a hit. Oh. That's... That... That does not that. hit. So, I like, hit. you pick up your mace, you swing it, and it just hits, a, like, a pile of gold. Like, tling! Uh, Amber hand. Why would you do this to me? Um, Arnie, do you want to make an attack? Yes, I would. God, please, Arnie, make an attack. Yep, look at that. Look that at that. something. You did. That's what I like to see. That definitely hit, and that definitely did seven points of damage. We and it was more. The so the magic works. All right, and on their turn, Brith will, will be crushed for four points of damage, and the statue will be crushed for two points of damage. Do I do I cast my spell at the end of our initiative or at the end of the entire? You can you attack magic goes in whenever you can do it now if you want. Um, I for that, I think. Um, so I've got Phantasmal Forces cooking. Okay. Um, it's a 20 by 20 cube. I mean, I imagine I can shape it to just get the guys that I want since it's Don't coming worry out of about my brain. Me. Don't worry about me. I'm um, fine. Well, it, it's an illusion anyway. They don't need to know that. Uh, so <laughs> hoping that this thing uh, just pierces my illusions, but... Uh, you know, Vance has sensed that he's kind of had a thing going here where it's worked out, so focusing on his past and drawing power from his memory, he summons a single knife blade, which he throws, and it explodes into a cloud of dozens of throwing knives, spattering into them as if hitting a dartboard. Uh, I'm going to do some illusory damage to them. Okay. So you're basically creating like a whirlwind of knives. Uh, it's a little, I don't know, sub damage if that's a thing, or, or otherwise bamboozle them. All 
All right, give me two seconds here. I'll be right back. Oh, it's the thing going well. Guys, what do we do? The shoot it with the thing. I need to keep punching it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've I've relinquished my ultimate magical power of not being hit. Right, For but everyone whip. else never had that. Yeah. So. Welcome, welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> You'll I forgive me if I'm not sympathetic. I have 18 health. This thing can wipe me out in one hit. Well, let's hope it doesn't. But I really think uh, it's it's time to unleash the Kraken, so to speak. Yeah. He is yeah. Tasso. Tasso. Yeah. I think you just got to shoot it next round, man. Yeah. Fire. Not going to be around for another two rounds of aiming. Was Tasso aiming this round? He was, yeah. Uh... So, right now you have a... Is it plus four? Right now you have a plus eight to hit. You'll get Wait, plus two actually... for point blank range, plus one less. Wait, um, plus four, naturally. Yeah. Weapons so plus then four, then you add your dicks. Yeah, so seven, eight... Plus one, plus one because it's short range. No, no, it's plus two because it's, uh, plus two because it's, um, point blank. Yeah. What? It's not the plus one, it's plus two instead. We also gotta worry about this, uh, ogre coming over and messing him up, so. Yeah, but well, I'm invisible, he's invisible, so. yeah. Ooh, wheat, that means yeah. he's gonna so be Yeah, so we have the plus two, plus okay. one, that's plus three, then plus seven, then... I think you have I plus you nine. Have a, I think you have a pretty good, pretty good chance. Yeah. So fingers crossed. All right. So, sorry, Vance. You were casting. You were doing like a, a rain of, uh, like, uh, darts. Our room of darts. Why not? <laughs> Something uh, familiar. All right. Like a whirlwind of them. Hundred percent, like anime style attack, rain, death. So what I'll let you do is um, I'm going to roll a saving throw versus magic for each of them. And if it if they fail, they'll take a D6 dagger hits. Does that sound reasonable? Like it. Like it. All right. So Gromlin, three Gromlins. One Gromlin is really tough. Uh, I'll tell you this. They're not going to survive a D6 dagger hits. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop these two. Oh. 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 Uh, we won. <laughs> you can do Control Z, uh, Ryan. Back. Mark another side, and... another genocide down yeah. for the genocide <laughs> squad. It told you, man. Knives every time. <laughs> oh, it's bigger now. Oh God. <laughs> There we go. He's back! <laughs> it's powered by knives! He shrunk. <laughs> Alright, and Maw Swarm. Or Maw yeah, Swan with. Swarm. And. Ah, so. He tried. Oh. It's alright. His, oh. uh, his saves are probably really. It's a, it's a crazy monster, so. But I cleared some gremlins out for you. All right, let's start. Yeah, it it has a save of eight. <laughs> no. That's why. Uh, okay. Hopefully, uh, shoot it, shoot it now. I don't know. All right, and that is uh, anyone else. The dwarves going? moved up. Did they chop? Oh yeah, they need to chop. Like there's no chopping tomorrow. So two of them are gonna try to chop down the one on Brith, and one of them's gonna try to chop the one on the the statue. So the two on Brith, uh, no. miss, miss. The one on the yeah. statue, miss. 
Oh, they're about to die! <laughs> oh. Alright. Um. Is that everybody? Am I missing anyone? I moved this to a night. This... Yep. Okay. Is Chris here? Where are you at, Chris? Yeah, you can pull in well, if yeah, you we're want. Gonna, we're gonna bring you in here, man. Get in oh, this fight. Okay. Yeah, come over by Arnie, closer to the north, preferably. You can start by Vance and go from there. Uh, wait, how you. far... Tassos can still do stuff, can he? No, I moved and aimed this time. Oh, okay. Uh, Chris, I don't know if you... you... Yeah, there we are. All right, watched so the last weeks, but this is this is the big bad in case you hadn't figured it out from the tentacle monsters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the oversized icon gives it away. It's definitely way. We're uh. So, if you wanted to get up there, it costs double movement. So you could go one, two, three, four, or one. It would be one, two, three, four, and then it would be five, six, seven, eight. So you'd be getting up towards. The, the beef. Yeah, that's okay. That's cool. The, the gromlins with the clocks are asleep, so that's why people are just kind of ignoring uh, them. Uh, Vance especially. Got it. Got it. Yeah. All right. It almost worked this time. And just then, I'm invisible, so that's why I know they have me attacking me. Yep. Yeah. We'll give you a little marker. We should have. You have the ninja marker. There's like a ninja. There you go. You're a ninja. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a Blackbeard's rage coming on here, though. Or, right. Only if I was a, a, a Toyo. <laughs> I think that's the entire round. We got to go to initiative. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, you in, God. You in, but Arnie, please. Not Arnie. Vance, you're going to roll initiative. Who? Vance. So. Oh. Okay. Uh, Vance? Vance? Spells! I'm casting a spell also every yeah. time there's a spell. I'm really not trying to cheat. I'm sorry. It's fine. You get, you're <laughs> you're kind of out of the line of fire, so the only reason it matters is if I can disrupt you, which I really can't at this point. Um, but so I shall fire at this round or wait one more turn and continue to aim? Fire. 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 Yeah, shoot. shoot fire! fire! Okay. Shoot. So wait, we need to we need to tally up all your pluses. It's you have a uh, you have plus two for point blank. You have plus one for dex. Plus one for uh. But we'll less, save we'll less. save that for the last attack because I want to you know it's special. So the two <laughs> dudes on yeah. breath. Um. It's just it's just breath I'd like to takes... see if it like makes him drop breath in the stone guy, you know? So, the oh. tentacle takes one point of damage, so it's still okay. So one oh. guy does connect, but that's kind of, you know, you know, where it's at. And the stone? And the dude on the stone one? Misses. Oh. Oh. But Brith will take... Four points of damage, and the statue will take three points of damage. That destroys the statue. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. Hey, Fonden, you're able to help us out, right? He can. In theory, he can move on top of the Gromlins and then move to there. You okay with that, Chris? Yeah, sure. Uh. Stab it! Give it a stabbing. Stabbing, yeah. Oh, uh, Chris, are you going to help, uh... Are you going to help, uh, Brith out, or are you just going to attack the beast? Is there something wrong with Brith? He's been He's tangled up. He's got, like, a tentacle. a tentacle that's been wrapped up around him. And it's just bashing him into things and people. Is that, is that a strength check, Ryan, or how does that work? 
Uh, it is, once you are wrapped up, you are wrapped up until that tentacle doesn't exist anymore. And it's just using him as a weapon, as a blunt weapon, and beating people with him. Okay, yeah. I guess I will slice the tentacle then. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to also, like, keep it from getting an attack and chop its arms off, so maybe... 13 will hit, lucky. 7 points yeah. of damage, Brith is free, uh, and one of the yes! tentacles goes... Nice. And retreats back into him. It doesn't seem to do any damage to him. Per se. So the hit points you're doing aren't actually uh, hurting the main body, but it does have one less tentacle. Okay. Take um, I'm I'm gonna let loose another try to let loose a hit into it again. Okay. So when when he cut off the tentacle, but this free falling. Yes. Actually, <laughs> Brit will take two points of damage from falling, basically, oh. as he hits the ground. Nice joke, <laughs> nice Horus joke. hits for 11 points of damage. It feels that. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that feel it. Oh, it's wait, it's going to be attacking me now, isn't it? It's going to be attacking me now, isn't it? Okay. Oh, no. And... So that's that. Um, boom, boom, boom. Arnie, if you're going to hit it, now's the time. Oh, I would love to. You got to get Brit. closer, don't you? Like hey. to there. Wham, bam. <laughs> this does hit and does do quite the damage. So that will take it. Oh, okay. we're laying into it now. Can okay. Brith uh, move and attack this turn or no? No. Not this round. I think that's ever advanced. Do you got a spell? It's... Um, Can my spell go after the shot? Sure. Oh, you're counting hit points? Ooh. Oh. Are you going to do the shot or are you going to aim another round? Uh, well, I got one quick thing. Mm-hmm. If I move... Will it mess up the aim thing? Um, I'm talking. If it depends on where where are you trying to move, how about that? Way right over here. So that's a few steps. So yes, I'll say that you can continue to aim. In your point, Blake. Yeah, because you you don't have any threat on you, so it's like you're just strolling. So I'm fine with that. I think that's a okay. reasonable call. So, yeah, then Take I'm going up. to fire. Fire! Oh, yeah. All right. Take him up. Roll I think he has a plus nine to hit. I'm well, pretty I sure. Got, I got four, only a plus four on it. So if the, the weapon should have the plus four baked into yeah. it if you added your yeah. stats yeah. in. So your threshold so, modifier, I believe, is only plus three. It's two for it? blank. Or plus four, I'm sorry. Point yeah. blank. Less and one round of yep. and his dex modifier, right? That, that gets baked in automatically if you add oh, it okay. to your character sheet. All right, yep. so yeah, plus four. Take yeah, roll it. I'll make sure that the the math adds up. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. No, wait, that's plus the two... Is that plus the... Yeah, the it's everything in it. Oh. Lower than we wanted. That's all right. Okay. So, Still as, good. You, as you fire, the, the, the bolt goes out. And granted, it's not that far from the creature. But you see it transforms into like a harpoon, in essence. Like the size of that. And it bolts into the side of it. And it... The whole body jerks as, like, electrical currents are kind of going through it. And the thing screeches. In fact, it, it all of your minds are shaken by, like, the awful noise that this thing makes. Everyone do a saving throw versus uh, petrification. Oh. Uh, I'm going to say wisdom modifier since it's kind of yes, mad. Yes, wisdom modifier is appropriate. Okay. And that's 
Do we? Do I have uh, protection from evil with that? You do get the plus to save, yes. Alright. So that's uh, what threshold modifier? One? Yes. One. Alright. My snake and ears! No! No! So, all the people who failed will take three points of kind of like psychic damage or your ears start oh. to bleed ever so slightly from this thing as it's like it, it just gives this horrid like from the abyss kind of cry. How dare you. <laughs> and then I think we have one last thing. Yeah, the spell. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna let you know now that you guys owe me um, 3,000 so just getting that out. Uh, Vance will uh, pull his scroll case from his satchel and unearth an ancient ring scrap of paper, and encanting the ancient runes found deep beneath the, the hellscape that is the Duchy of Eric, pull tendrils of elemental fire from the air and unleash the dreaded f -f fireball. Wait. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fireball Wait, this that... guy. I ought to be able to catch the ogre and the big bat in the same blast, I think, without hurting anybody else, so. Yeah. Take that. AoE is a very, very large thing, Vance. Yeah, it's 20 foot radius. I oh, believe yeah. in you. you oh, I mean, do it like right here. Yeah, that can get both the big bad and the ogre without hurting you guys, I think. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. go yeah. ahead and roll damage. So it's uh, 66. Yes, 66. <laughs> oh, my. All right, God. fingers crossed. That's... I don't whiff it, guys. Solid, solid showing. Oh, okay. So the ogre will um, probably make that. I'm pretty sure the ogre makes it, so he'll take 10, uh, which is still a lot for an ogre. And Moss Swarm will definitely probably make this save. <clears throat> Please don't. He does. Oh, it's uh, 10. God damn it. Okay. It's ten, um, but the explosion causes the the beast basically just like shrivel into like some husk. It only had three hit points left when you did the fireball. Oh, <laughs> so you wait! How to use that? Wait, it's dead. It's dead. It had sixty four <laughs> hit points, but you guys like kicked the shit out of it that last round. So it does have it's the ability dead. to heal one time a day, like. It replenishes all of its life plus a d4, but it didn't get its round to go do it. You guys, Wait, you guys dropped some. it about 40 points in one round. You dropped it about two thirds of its life. Nice job. Tazo got that big old hit. Wait, we won? I, we won? I, we won? <laughs> this ogre kills us now. Wait, God. No, the ogre's. The, no, the ogre's not. Oh yeah, what does the uh Okay. Hey Ryan, that uh that psychic attack, did that also hit the Gromlings and the ogre? Um yeah, so we'll see. I still Yeah, so if the big bad dies, do all the clones die? And can dream. That's a very good question. So the ogre's looking very rough actually. Is the ogre like yeah. I basically it's just kind of standing there is so, like the evil aura I saw on them okay. like gone or whatever I what want... is it the uh, what is it uh, no because the ogre ogres aren't naturally good people anyway so no it's still got an aura of evil okay so I want to go over to the ogre or not go for it but point my crossbow to the ogre and fight, trying to fire it again. Okay, you can fire. If you want to take a shot at the ogre, you can. I'm okay with that. The ogre's kind of, like, sitting there just kind of looking around. Like, it just got, like, blown up and its ears are bleeding and, like, it's kind of looking around and, like, it, it's kind of out of it. Do I have a uh, modifier to it or no? Yeah, you got a, you know, your plus one short range. Hmm. 
Uh, it definitely doesn't do 16. <laughs> so it does 1d6, just like a regular crossbow shot. Yeah, you gotta you gotta turn uh, it back to normal. Yeah, it doesn't okay. have all the plus fours and everything. It's so now, then it does three damage, which is enough to hit. kill the ogre because the ogre is really hurt. So the the thing is shriveled into a blackened, like it's just a ball. Plus. Yeah, like it's like a uh, like a big round ball with like tentacles, but all the tentacles are kind of like drooped over. And it's sizzling, and it's just sitting there. Well, but guys, well, I, I, the reason I, I want to did that is they do the same thing as if I shot to the uh, thing, or it was it just a regular cross? It was a regular bolt. crossbow bolt. Yeah. Okay. I assumed you yeah. would put another bolt in, so just yeah. put put a bolt in. It it, it will yeah. it cocks itself for you, but it doesn't do ammo. You just put a bolt in and like fire. Bolt in, yeah. fire. Bolt in, fire. I'd like, I'd like to look through some of the treasure to... Oh, there's plenty maybe, of treasure there. Yeah, yeah maybe find uh, some of the stuff. Hey, Brith, um... We, uh... This was the Devourer, right? I assume so. As he's kind of, like, dusting himself off. You okay there? I've probably been better. He can be. How, how do we get all this back to the uh, city? Well, I don't think we we have to. I'm talking realistically. This is the city's money. Yeah, that's that's what I meant. I mean, how do we get it back to the city? Well, we just make sure no one takes it, and then they'll come and get it. I'm sure. Uh, true. Yeah. Uh, we should bring back proof, shouldn't we, that we killed it? Okay, I'm cutting the head off. There isn't a head. There are only uh, tentacles. That oh, meant the tentacles. All right. Selfie. Here's a fun thing. So, yeah, you're cutting into it, like to cut the tentacles off, and you slice into the round part a little bit. And it splits really easy, like how you would split an orange, and oh, come, no. and then a body falls out of it. Like it's all covered in goo and nastiness and gross. And what size is, it, is the body? Dwarf? It looks like that. Oh God. Oh god. What does it it's, look like? It looks like Oaken Shield, exactly. Mm-hmm. He's just it, it what? equipment and everything. Uh Arnie says kill it. Kill it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Does it also have the special crossbow, like the magic crossbow? Nope. It looks okay. like it's his equipment from like several years ago. He doesn't have a few of the scars that Oaken Shield has now. So, wait, so you mean uh, this Oaken Shield is heal now? I'm sorry? That's young Oaken Shield. This one's got heal now. Uh, yes. Yes, it does. Um. Stop, it's gross. Uh, <laughs> we could probably tie it up, don't we? It's not moving. It doesn't look like it's alive. I'm it still might... saying it's like a just in case kind of thing. Yeah, I'm talking. It, it looks like it might not have fully gestated. But how would it so... get? So that's how it does it. So interesting. Yeah. It looks like Oak and Shield from right before we started playing online. Oh, so... then still is. Then I guess yes, it does have hair. So yes. Or hairless, yes. But it looks like that. Yeah, okay, so interact with any evil shrines, perhaps, around that time? I mean... Yeah, he did. Any evil that thirsts from beyond time and space, perhaps? Okay, if that's the case, I want to cut like, into the body type thing. Mm -hmm. And see what's inside there. 
I'm talking, that's about it. Um, yeah. hey, so, guys, uh, we should cut off some of the tentacles and, um... That's what I just did. And, uh... uh one. They're gonna come down here and find it and be like, oh, shit, they did kill it. Make sure this clone isn't going to wake up. Uh, we should burn it. Yeah. I think we should also uh, and get then... some that there's a monster down here in case that it goes away. They'll know that it went away. I'm also worried that like, if we walk away, does it have the power? Like, we don't know anything about it. It could curl up and it regenerate what? itself. I don't think that it will, but does, or like go back any... to whatever devil dimension it's from does, or does something. Anybody yeah. got, does anybody got an oil, oil flask? I got yeah, one let's, left. Let's move it. Let's move it like down here, off of the pile of gold and the uh, doppel oaken shield, and just burn the both of them with all of our oil flasks. That's that definitely sound good to you guys. Yeah, I think if we have one one tentacle worth, um, and you know our sworn testimony and of an honor, so I'm a little concerned good. that. Oh, also, uh, guys, since we you know wiped this thing out, can we go see if those bugs are still there? You guys don't want to take a look in the treasure pile. Well, yes. I mean, uh, I mean, Brith, like Brith said it was the cities, didn't he? He said so the, the he said the cache is the cities. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Let's search then. He's not yes. above. Um, he, he might be lawful good, but he's not against like, you know. They're not gonna know like if there was a couple items here that that are gone. They're and they're dwarves. They're gonna be more interested in the. Uh, in this, in the, uh, the the money. Though but... I would suggest we drag the uh, foul abomination out first. So there's roughly ninety thousand copper pieces. <laughs> there is twenty thousand gold pieces. <laughs> there oh is God. one, two, three, six. Um, seven, thirteen, sixteen nice pieces of jewelry that probably range in value between six hundred and fifteen hundred gold pieces each. There is the sword that it was using. There is a medallion in here that glows um, with a, like a it, it's got a it's basically a gold medallion on a necklace. Um, it's very simple. Um, it's like gold with a gold back. And it's got a red smoothed over gemstone in it that lightly glows. There's a, a staff in here that um, has a snake coiled around it. There is a, a potion in here that is blue. And there are two sets of scrolls. Um, does any of this pick up as evil, Ryan? Uh, no. None of it picks up as evil, because you have that uh, up and going. Vance, you're the magic man. I'm a magic man! Um, if I, if I recognize any items of legend or, or anything like that off the... Off Get go, sir. The Give potion. The, old, uh, the, the potion looks over. very similar to a potion. Extra heal. It's not even an extra heal. It's just a potion of healing. So I'll take it. I'll take it's it. the light version. The, the light tab, heal potion. The tab uh, of of, of uh, potions. <laughs> it took me a second, but I gotcha. Um. So we got magic glowy sword. We got magic glowy amulet. I guess I can do the the forty percent chance job on him to yep. see if we can see anything out of the gate. So sword first. Nope, haven't seen this one before. But this magic amulet is obviously ancient Jablorski. It's a medallion of ESP. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Got. Uh, mag 
magic snake staff. Uh, let's see. Where's that stupid? There it is. Haha, snake staff. Although uh, I may not know off the bat, I think there's a staff that lets you talk to snakes or something. Um, we could certainly I try thought... it out. We could try to talk to um, uh, Imperius and see. Uh, is it is it two snakes intertwining around each other? Yes. Fine. That's a healing could be, staff. It could be a staff a of some staff, kind, depending yeah. on the so... pantheon slope. You look at it, um, Horus, and you're like, that looks like a healing staff. <laughs> and, like, you take it and, like, you touch it to Arnie, and Arnie, you get a D6 plus one back. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. <laughs> or Asclepius, less snakes. So, the way the healing staff works, I'll just give it to you because you guys figured it out. Um, I context clued it as best I could. Um, basically, it does a cure light wound, so a D6 plus one. It can do it to anybody once a day. Oh, nice. So you can use it a limited times, but it can only affect you once a day. Nice. That's very good. I knew it. it uh, I, I remembered it from, like, Greek mythology. Well, or every doctor's office you've ever been to. Yes, also <laughs> that. <laughs> and then there's two scrolls. One scroll definitely has, like, uh, magical incantations, and the other one has prayer. Oh? Yep. Oh. Interesting. The uh, encanting one is a, an arcane scroll, take it. Yeah, one's an arcane yeah. scroll, one's a cleric scroll. Sorry. But... Yeah. yeah. Um, right. You definitely look at the spell scroll, and you're like, oh, that's continual light, because you have continual light as a spell. The other two spells, you're not sure because you don't have them. So it will take you Research. some, like, from studying to, to figure that out. Horus, you have a scroll of protection from evil. Your favorite spell. Okay. A good one. So, yeah, your spell scroll, um, Vance, has two, um, two additional. It's got continual light and two other spells. Well, I think that despite um, Brith's uh, sort of just pounding into the earth, um, came out okay. Everybody else is just topped up, right? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Arnie's at a 15. And the Hammer Brothers. That next round, it was going to be able to do some heavy shit. Uh, but yeah. y'all didn't. Y'all got it before it did. It, it could have. It can cast hold once every three rounds. It can just do it. It just does hold. Hold person. That was Brith the first round. It was like, hold. And he saved, but anyone that he did hold person on, you're out for the rest of the fight. Like, there's no fight left in you. Um, and what is it? The um, And then it also could cast heal on itself. So it would have gotten... Reset the entire fight, basically. In essence, reset the entire fight. Yeah. So well, I don't feel uh, bad yeah. at all about murdering it. Yeah, I neither do 25. I. I did about 25% of the uh, itself in one hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. Nice. Uh, so, Brith, do we just leave this here? He's like, well, we should probably leave some people here. And he'll look at the three dwarf compatriots with y'all. He's like, you guys stay here and guard it. He's like, I don't think you're going to have as much trouble... I, I assume everything that was down here was probably being run by, you know, that thing. I think yeah. we can, we should leave the, the dwarves, but then maybe kind of just fill out the rest of this level and do a quick scout around to make sure that nothing is going to come and murder them while we break back to the city. Yeah, definitely. So... Well, give me a second. I'm going to total up XP because I'm going to give you all XP for the money, even though you're not going to get to keep it. And oh. Oh. I am so ready for this. Uh, 
Okay, and how many of there are you? So there is, what, six of you plus Brith? Mm -hmm. Uh, Seven. yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. In total. Six five, in total. Six including, including Brith. Yeah, six, including Brith. Oh, yeah, because Grum's dead. Six including Brith. So divided by six equals. So, and I'll give you a little rounded up because you guys did good. So everyone's going to get 7,000 experience points. Pretty good chunk. Oh. Don't forget your ten percent if you get it. I so think I'll pull up. Uh, I'm I'm almost to leveling up. Nope, nope, never mind. No. Hold yeah, on. I'm I'm real close to it now. Um, just over four thousand. I got four thousand, three thousand. Oh, to go. I forgot about the treasure y'all got before. Give me a oh. second. Yep. Let's add some of that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we also have found... I don't know... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, just kidding. Well, uh... Boys. Hey, guys, are we are we gonna go back and get one of those bugs? Corpses? Fine, we said we would. <laughs> because, uh... I can turn that into a pretty good armor. Arnie's leveling up. Oh, oh you yeah, are? Man. Yep, with the nice. 7,000. What low are you? It'd be 6 now. Wait a second. You're... Are you the highest level in the party? I might Thank be you. leveling up now, so... If I don't... Yeah. Then yeah, so, I'm right now. The next one is everyone good. gets an additional... Um, 1,600. Yeah, okay, I love up too. Nice. Uh, so that's. Oh, I'm so close. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to do a tiny bit of time travel fast forward. So, I'm going to say y'all go around the caverns, and um, there's nothing much left. Anything that was there probably left. Um, it was probably being kept there against its will if it was there. Um, and um, as you guys are kind of getting ready to kind of make your way back, you basically see like the, the you know, the old tunnel that kind of went from um, the Dwarven City to here, like, you know, face kind of pops through and they're like, we made it through! And like... That's just in time for all <laughs> of y'all. Um, and so that you guys are going to be able to be welcomed back um, to the the city. And you're not going to have to go through like the horrid underdark that is uh, what we shall not speak. Thanks for that, Ryan. I promised we wouldn't go back here. to the, the creepy, evil, sword-wanting guys. So it's nice to be able to keep our word. So... Okay. 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 Yep. If we get the XP, Arnie's level six. So. Yep. Same here. Arnie, you're almost maxed Please. out, man. I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> I love up too. Uh, you're yes. not almost maxed as, out. As <laughs> did Vance, I think, right? He did. He did. Ooh, yeah, that's, I'm a. That's, that's the big one. Away from Third level six, right, Vance? Right. Maybe you can. Maybe we can talk off uh, stream. What, what uh, I could do? Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm. What? Uh, what is that? I'm like seven hundred away. Yeah, you two more sessions. Get up. You're only seven hundred yeah. away. Yeah, I'm. Se Actually, no, I'm six hundred and seventy. No, that's six hundred and sixty-seven away. It's close. Yeah. It's very close. No. I will say, uh, if you're worried about running out of... You, you just turned level 6, Eric? Yep. I so, think 8 was my max. Yeah, but it's going to take like 100,000 experience from your you're oh, at, yeah. I think. So you I got just some time. It's gonna give you next level is 60,000. Yeah. <laughs> so you get some time. You got a little time, but there'll be yeah. more and more fights like this as things. 
right. so this dungeon was created by me but it was also created on level like so like i use monsters from levels you know level i average you guys are like level like four or five so i picked four and five le dungeon level monsters that's why you guys are like man we're getting really beat up it's because y'all are like level three four hanging out on level one two dungeon levels in stone hell that's why you guys are like shit <laughs> like these monsters yeah. can hurt us <laughs> well, we were still getting out foxed by the hobgoblins at every turn so uh <laughs> yeah really we HP can go back and Thacko is in everything, it turns out. It's it's not 100%, yes. <laughs> so, I'm going to also give a little bit of a fast-forward time. So, basically, you're going to get back to the city and, like, have a day or two to rest. Um, in that time, I'll let you identify the items, just because I don't want to be jerky about it. Um, and just give you the, the stuff so we can kind of start clean. I was literally expecting this thing to take two to three sessions. Like, from the beginning, all the whole time, the whole Dwarven City two to three sessions to do everything we did because I'm dumb um, and don't know how, how things work. <laughs> so I actually added the Underdark thing because I was like, it's going to be too short. Man, we're, they're just going to blow through there in like half a session. And then I was like, well, I'm going to put the Underdark stuff in. Um, <laughs> and so there you go. The end of the mind of a DM and how it works. So things that you do get to keep. So you're eventually able to open the, the lock chest and there's 5,000 silver pieces in it. Oh, okay. Split between... Group loot. One, yeah, yeah, group loot. Group loot. Oh. You found at one point 2,400 gold pieces and six gems that were worth 50 gold each. Yep, got that. Oh yeah, the giant pearl as well. Arnie's giant pearl that's worth two, that was worth two thousand. Oh yeah. my god! You had also a got... okay, earrings, go ahead, I'm sorry. Earrings and a brooch they were worth fourteen hundred. I also the... have a really big football size egg. The earrings and the brooch that. together are worth fourteen hundred. Yeah, the earrings are a thousand. The brooch is four hundred. And then there was the two thousand pearl. And you got two trinkets that were worth 50 each. And then a, like a, a little magic trinket. It was a topaz smeared in blood. So oh. you figure out it's a it's a one-time use like trinket. You just basically smash it. Um, but it gives you 2d8 temporary hit points for an hour. That's good. Oh, wow. I also have written down a necklace with a slight abjuration aura that we picked up in the that's the layer. that's the trinket that's the, the necklace okay. yeah with the with the abjuration aura that's it gotcha so it gives you ten hit points and uh, then so from, from the the sword that you found with moss spawn uh, or moss swarm it's a plus one sword that uh, generates light yeah that's what I thought it was a light bringer that's yeah. nice. And then your scroll, uh, Billy, has web and lightning bolt on it. What's there to have? Top, top tier is what that is. Um, so the two bracelets were the trinkets worth 50 each? Yeah, they were just like little, you know, doodads. So, Ryan? Mm hmm. I got a question. Did they revive, did they, like, revive Hergertha? That will be determined next game. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So also. We're, gonna, we're all going to do the, the return to the Dwarven City and all of that stuff in the next game. Did uh, I roll my uh, health yes, and we stuff can, next game? Yes, everyone can level up if they need uh, to, to do some leveling. That's... To level up, it's seven uh, D8, right? So, yeah, if you're seventh level, you would roll seven D8 and then add oh, your constitution uh, seven times. Uh, six. I'm six. Six so level. Six. So, six D8 plus your constitution modifier. I'm six. My constitution is... So... Tasso, you rolled 30. Oh, well, no. You, rolled, you rolled one too many, but I'll give you the 8. So you got 38 plus your constitution modifier. What is it? 
Uh, should be plus one. So that's plus six. So forty-four. Forty-four. Oh, plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Yeah. So then uh, that's uh, plus what? Twelve. So yeah. twelve. Fifty in total. Fifty. Ooh, that's a big jump. Yeah, man, it's awesome. Yeah, so that's a lot go. of eight. Yeah. Is the minimum you can increase um, one plus your constitution modifier? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now, I'll go what, up by two. Then. What, my, what did my HP go up to to 52? You know? Your HP goes up to, to 50. 50 was where it was at, right? No, yeah. not, not my... I have well, we're we're going to heal between the sessions and rest. Current, current so, HP. Yeah, you're going to heal between sessions. Okay. So, Arnie, you're level 6, right? Yep. So that's twenty-two. What's your constitution modifier? Uh, one plus one. So that would be plus six. So that would put 28. you at twenty-eight. All right. Uh, I uh. So we are dragging out one of those, like the carapace of one of those bugs, right? Yes, but upon All studying right. it. One thing that you know, just, you know, looking at it, you can make armor out of it, but you can't make human or dwarf size armor. It would have to be something like ogre size armor. The what shell can't size? be, the shell can't be, um, broken up. Otherwise it loses, um, durability and becomes <laughs> kind of functionally useless. So it has a tendency to, uh. To watch him call Ryan? It, to to you know, it needs to be kept in a piece. Human, could... Humans are technically animals, correct? Uh, I'm talking. You want to get into a philosophical debate? Like I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, for the spell, uh, growth of animal. No, humans are not animals. For that, uh, there is a spell. Damn, okay. You gotta think magic, magic philosophy, not uh, you know biological linean type. I really need to get that rune then. That rune that turns me into the size of a giant. What about Arnie? Is Arnie the size of uh, big enough? No, no. Arnie's not ogre size. He's big, but he's not ogre size. He needs to lift more. He's get get more beefcake. Yeah. All right, so any other questions about tonight? Um, there are a few outstanding trinkety type items that we never got values for. I'm, I'm just going to paste um, sure. it in Discord. Let's see. This is stuff that we left back in the Mithril City, um, but that we had looted from the uh, orc encampment where we uh -oh. found. Uh, so this is like way, way back. I might have to go back and take a look at that. So I will post that when I can go back yeah. in my notes and take a look. Yeah, but I just I, wanted to, to bring it up. And then Wait a second, would that would that would the money from those send me over? If anything, I gave you that XP a while ago. A lot of times I don't give you the money, but I give you XP. Um, because you don't know exactly how much stuff is worth, but I'm being a little lazy today. Because it's such a big hoard. I'm talking the hoard was about 40,000 gold pieces worth of stuff. Yeah. And that's not including magic items. So these things collect and collect and collect. That's what they do. And they are, they're 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 awesome. All right, they're one of my favorite like D&D &D villains. Uh, one of the things they talk about, granted it's myth and lore, these might be where monsters come from. Like cuz deep spawn that people are like why are there so many you know uh think of a weird mo gelatinous cubes what do they do breed and it's like no like these things eat gelatinous cubes and they just keep making them and like the reason there are monsters in the world are these awful awful beings is there a vampire in this room next to a minotaur yeah that kind of shit <laughs> and they're like why does that make any sense because uh, and then they made it a monster in second edition called a deep spawn so if y'all want to google it you can look up deep spawn that's so funny that's, that's what it is so deep spawn deep spawn yeah that's what they're called uh, there it was a what 
How many? A 14 hit dice monster. What? Yeah. Ew. It had 64 hit points. And it was like at 45 before that last round. But that last round, like, y'all dropped a fucking anvil on it. <laughs> I mean, Ryan, Ryan, you gave us a mace that does a D10 plus three. Yep. You gave us a sword that does, what is it, a D8 plus two? Yeah. Let's say, though, man, even with all of that, if we'd have rolled one attack off that round, yep. it would have juiced back up to full health. Yep. Paralyzed one of us and then eaten the rest. Yep. Yeah, that's fair. It has <laughs> it has a, a spell save of eight, but it also has plus four of her spells, so it, it wow. has an effective spell save of four. Yeah. Like, I, I was like, you know, the fireball. Stupid. If it got hit with a fireball, like I wasn't too too scared um, mm -hmm. of what was going to happen because I was like, all right, and, you know, it, it probably won't take much more than ten or so. Um, but yeah, it was. It, so it, it was kind of a beast. The big thing it had was that slap attack where it could grab people and just stop them from attacking and it's crushing and beating you in the same thing. I was like, yeah, that, that's that's awful. So if you I'm had to just, the wrist, they'd have died. No, I'm well, just wondering go? about the uh, dot, the doppel oaken shield. Yeah, that is something to wonder about now, isn't it? You also have a doppel yoga. Yeah. Well, we have do doppel Johan and possibly another doppel johan well the, the way the mushroom people explained it this thing has to eat the subject in order to clone it so they're probably right. both doppel johans wait hold but on how but what about what about me oh. ah, so i think you're a clone Whoa. oh Tasso, you're Darn a clone me. arnie you're a clone no we don't see another arnie you're both clones. Yeah. Just die in the last adventure and then miraculously come back to life. No, no, we just, we just. Wait, this, hold on. I died. I was the only one who died, and I was devoured by Wait, two hundred and something on. goblins that were infected by mushrooms. I just figured out what, how, it happened. How? If we, if. If it's the only three people that died was me, Eric, and you, you Gage. Uh huh. The one new gap that happened with us. Uh huh. That's when it happened. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Arnie didn't die. We didn't find another Arnie. We only found another one of you guys. It's got a point. Don't don't rope me into this. <laughs> you're you're definitely a uh, what doppelganger. Happened? What happened in that year that you guys can't remember? Wah, wah, wah. So. All Vance knows is the money's too good to quit just now, but he's keeping an eye on these weirdos. We do know that Arnie <laughs> has a, a watcher over him, so. Or, as some, as or, some some apparently. or someone who made a deal with a mall spawn and fed. <laughs> it could be. It could be. It's just like. Wait, wait, I'm going to get a clone of them back, and you'll be my friend if I let you eat them. Deal. Also, we uh, we got to talk about your tithing there, Arnie. <laughs> there's, uh, you know, there's a time and a place for religious services. Well, yeah, you should probably little... take your two gold back. That's true. Pick oh, it up yeah. out, of the, out of the pile. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, this god yeah, did yeah. not want your offering. I was. Back. <laughs> I'm gonna admit, y'all. Like I was screaming in the mic. Like I'm like, hit it, hit it. You guys are like scooping gold and dumping gold on it. I'm like, you better hit this thing, like, cause it's gonna hit you and it's not gonna be friendly. Like, oh yeah, I should, I should drop the gold I grabbed, shouldn't I? It's up to you and what you want to do and your moral beliefs. Yeah, I'll yeah. drop. I'll Arnie's drop gonna take gold. twice as much gold as he put in. He's gonna take four gold. And that's mine. You do have a 2,000 gold piece pearl on you. You're not a popper. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fellas. I'm going to cut it off here. Uh, we will, we'll talk over the Discord, and uh, we'll, we'll do everything. Good oh, session. Yeah. Good job doing what y'all do. Um, that so... one was very fun. I liked that boss fight. That was cool. All right. I'm yeah. glad y'all enjoyed it. So. 
All right. Please take it easy, everybody. Thanks, Ryan, as always. No problem. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Yeah.